Hello there, clients. Morning channel. Welcome back. Uh, just thought I'd do a little look in the box on this one. Um, simple reason being is, is um, at first I thought it was new. Um, it turns out it is. It's actually Academy's reboxing of Revels kit. Now, the only reason I, I've, I've got this is because one of my model club members um, has actually made one of these. And Scott, you know who you are. Hello, mate. And um, he's done an absolute mighty fine job on it as well. And so I thought to myself, yeah, I, I've got three of these, but they're in the lockup and I can't find them. I've, I've been over there delving around, but I've, I've got a feeling I've got to go deeper in the game. Anyway, it's another story. But so I thought, well, I'll, I'll get this one. It came, um, came cheap from Jadam. And um, by the way, Jadam Racing, if you want to get your models from there they're they're um, they're pretty good <clears throat> uh, they do you have to wait a little while but they do come up with some cheap stuff every now and then well discounted so yeah and they got good service as well getting it to you so i thought right okay let's have a look then and um and we'll see what we see so there you go there's a box art great looking box art um that kind of like sells it to you anyway but anyway that's that so once we've uh, delved open the box, here's the first big packet you get. And, and I'll tell you what, let's put this over here. And it's not dropping over here. So this is how it would come with the Revan kit as well. You get a little block piece of sponge there to protect the little area or something that is on the nose. Um, not 100% what it is, but once we break open these bags, uh, you know what bullets do it, because I'm not going to put it in the bag oh and they're off do you know what this is the worst of kids having all of these because they all get together and they all start bundling oh he's done this he's done that anyway i'll uh can you shut up oh it's the only way to do it sometimes it's time to shut it so uh <clears throat> right what we we'll do oh there's some bits floating off as well So the first thing we've got is, is this sprue here, which is like I say, fuselage. And then this thing here, I'm pretty sure this is... You know, it's supposed to be... Yeah, as you can see, look. Um, it's supposed to be covering that aerial, and instead it's, it's right on the edge of that aerial. So, let's just see if I can... Pick it off and put it on. There we go. That's where it should be. It should be like that. Either it's bloody brilliant, but that's where it should be. Like that. So anyway, right. <coughs> <coughs> oh, oh cough. I'm going to cut this off this nose because otherwise that that will twist round and it will just create a noise. An almighty knot in the plastic, and it just means more unnecessary clean knot. So, yeah, there's the nose, and there's a jet can. <coughs> God damn, I think he's just got a cup of tea as well. That's what I was trying to say. Anyway, so uh, when we have a zoom in. There's your cockpit, just a basic tub. Nice looking ejector seat with a couple of extra bits there, joystick there. And then you've got your canards. That's for your sensors on the nose. I think they're um, something to do with the rear of the wings. <coughs> Back of the seat, seat pad, seat head, wheel bay. <coughs> <coughs> and there is the detail on the aircraft itself. Really nicely done. that sprue and your next sprue is basically your tanks or one set of tanks and so this is your big big tanks this one and you've got your copy parts some make missiles I think they are or the marchers I don't know I can't remember two different types there <coughs> um, that's there 
Pruning probe, sensors on the front, canoe pods for the flaps, uh, weapons racks in one side of your tail, the other side of your tail, angle of attack sensors. Yeah, it's all pretty well. And there's your burner cans there, and there's your cockpit there. And then these are what hold the tanks on, the fuel tanks. So that's our sprue. And then this was a sprue that you got in the M, I think, the new one, because I got that. And that was a complete weapons with a triple rack system for all your uh, GBU-12s to go on. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And then your pylons as well. So that was that one. Then your last one is your wings uh, with uh, air intakes. Your wings top and bottom. So, that's those. There's your glass, so you've got your canopy, your front windscreen, head-up display, lights, sun house to the cockpit, landing lights for the front wheels, wheels. and then your next packet is this packet here, so we'll see if we can bust this, oh there we go, let it all open, all right, and then what we've got here <coughs> is you've got some, you've got a seeker pod, another fuel tank for the centre line, then you've got the wheels, your landing gear, front wheels, front landing bay, another little pile, another two piles here for these weaker missiles or march or whatever. Um, rest hook, and then that is for that pod there. There's your noses to your missiles, and there's your bit on the front for your, your seeker heads on the front of the fuselage in front of the cockpit. And then next to your nose here, we've got some newer wheels. Well, why would this be? Maybe it's different landing gear. Is it or is it? I don't know. Let's have a look. So, no, it's virtually the same. If not the same, tyres and wheels, yeah, they're different. Front landing nose gear is different on that one compared to this one. So, so you've got different nose gear, different wheels. These versions are the same. And then it looks like your wheels for your front landing gear are smaller than this one. So one's Air Force, one's Navy, I presume. And you've got a different arrestor hook there as well. And a different nose wheel bunny. Mm. Yeah, all very different. Have to watch out for that one. And then finally is your weapons. And the other fuel tanks here. So you've got a fuel tank there, two, three. I don't know what this thing is. Some some cruise missile type looking thing with wings. Yeah, great stuff. All right, now I'll have a quick look through the pans just to see where we are. So, that's manual two. That's manual one. So, right, okay. So there are, there are a fold out set of pans. <coughs> Um, not bad. You can obviously see these have been copied from somewhere, photocopied. And then as we fold over, this is the landing gear bit. So it looks like two different types. Front landing gear. And uh, yeah, you're using that old hook. Oh, oh yeah. Um, hmm. That's all your canopy and stuff. And then there's your your weapons, which your weapons rack, triple weapons rack. <coughs> Both tires of fuel tank. 
the missile rocket and that thing, whatever that is, which it doesn't turn. And then you go to manual two. Manual two is obviously your loadouts, and then onto your paint schemes. So this bit, this is your French one. Oh boy, this ain't tees off. Well, the last cup was bloody stone cold. So anyway, <coughs> there's your uh, your first one, which is your French one. Gives you. Decal placements there. Then your next one is your Qatari one. Bit of camouflage. And then look, there it is at the bottom, on your top and bottom. <coughs> <coughs> Underside. This is the Egyptian one. So you've just got some fancy writing. And it carries those. What they're referring to as a scale PG. Uh, anyway, that's that. And then you've got the Amicas, EMs and IRs, infrared, and then your GPU 12s. And then uh, over the road we go, and then that just gives you all your sprue layer. But when you get a sprue layer, you turn it on. Nope. Uh, so that's your sprue layer in, in two. So two is, mainly two is painting and weapons. Displacement from the aircraft. Replacement from the aircraft. Then you get. Oh look. Then you get this, which is telling you to put the sensors on the nose and cut the front doors in half. So that's obviously something that they didn't put in the plans or wherever they got their plans from. And then the next thing you've got is your decals, and um, oh goodness me, by DXM. <whistles> nice, now I've got some DXM decals, I haven't used them yet, they're for um, an F-18 Super on the 32 I haven't used them, it's good for the trumpeter kit. But uh, as you can see, I mean, uh, anyway, it's just, uh, I mean, there's your cockpit. And um, yeah, they're pretty. You know, if I get the light on them, pretty tight fit for the, the clarity is good. Whether those words say anything, I don't know. There's all your stencils. So yeah, yeah, great stuff. I don't know whether I'll be doing that one though. Um, I might do, but um, yeah, it depends. I might just do a, a normal line bird or just, you know, the, the, the colourful ones are nice and they look good at shows, but it's almost like every man in his army does a colourful one, but not very many people tend to do just an ordinary standard line bird. So, yeah. So. There we have it. So that's a look in the box on the Academy's release of the Raphael C. Um, yeah, it's a nice kit. It's a nice kit anyway. It's, it's just, I always preferred it over the Obi Boss kits, the Revel version. And um, yeah, so yeah, a nice kit. Like I say, don't know about the, the schemes in it, but um, you know, there you go, that is uh, the 2012 uh, so, yeah, I'm not room on the bench, but it's, it's on the other end. A little bit of crap down the sides, and not a lot on that end. Just a, Measurements, but it's um, and uh, where's the kit number? Oh, one, two, three, four, six. There you go. So it's Academy one, two, three, four, six. There you go. Right on, guys and girls. That's it. It's just a little look in the box. 
and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.